Are you in love with the person or are you in love with the idea of being in love? Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothingcom I am Fug It. And that stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. Guys, I want to talk to you about a little topic that I rarely see discussed, but if you've ever dated somebody and you find that they're like really, you know, into the relationship game, you know, um, there's a lot of steps they take, which leads you to think that maybe they're in love with the idea of being in love and not with you as a person. So I'll give you a rundown of that, some warning signs you can see, and maybe some signs in yourself if you indeed um, have these behaviors, okay? So think about it like this. You have uh, somebody new, and either you or that partner, right, immediately wants to spend all their time with them. You know, they want to take a lot of pictures, post those pictures on social media. Um, they want to do the relationship things, but it seems like there's not really an organic time of getting to know each other, you know? Like one or both of you don't have your guard up, and I'm not saying that in a bad way where you have a guard up and then you don't let somebody in, but they're just spilling everything, you know, about themselves and about their needs and how great it is to have finally found somebody. And either you make that person feel like a warm body that's just there to compliment them or you yourself are doing that to the person. And it's very common, um, especially if you... Uh, are out there dating and or you have like you've had a lot of, of um, relationships that start and then seem to go sideways and south really fast you know it starts off like you know it's incredible everything is great um, they're so happy to have you you're so happy to have them this is the perfect person you've never been anybody like this but there's a pattern to this okay and it starts off with um, again taking all your time, you know, or you're taking all their time. The person who is the person who's in love with being in love does these traits, okay, to make it simple, you know. So, again, it could be you, it could be the other person, but the traits are usually, you know, they immediately think you're the greatest thing ever. They've never met anybody like you. They have usually had a lot of very short-term relationships, um, at the end of it, it's always the other person's fault. Everything was, you know, fine. And then this person got terrible, right? And I always meet the wrong people. That's what, you know, some of their dialogue is, you know, I always meet the wrong people or nobody really understands me or how much love I have to give. And they just took advantage of me. Every single person did the, the same things, right? When you see this, take caution because usually there's some kind of manipulation that's happening in that they either falsely uh, represent themselves and all of a sudden you start to see, you know, some of the bad things, some of the um, the cracks in the armor, right? If they're your knight or nightress, I don't know, is there a female knight in shining armor, all of a sudden you start to see the kinks, you start to see the rust, you know, the things that just aren't don't seem normal or balanced in a healthy relationship. So, like I said, you know, they might post on social media all the time, you know, post you, tag you, you know, try to like overly involve you in their life. Usually it's, um, here's all my family, here's all my friends, you know, here's my schedule. And now they try to fit you into their life, meaning you're going to be everything they need instead of learning who you are and the things you need, right? So that you can bring um, the, your two lives together. And it doesn't happen super fast and it shouldn't happen super fast. It should be um, a time thing. You know, the more time you spend with them, the more you're gonna get to know each other. You're not trying to push things unnaturally in a direction of permanency, right? Whether that's um, boyfriend, girlfriend, engaged, married, what have you. And, um, you know, you should both be on the same page with that. One person shouldn't feel rushed 
and feel um, almost like an obligation to just go at the speed that the other person wants to, you know, and if that's you in that relationship and the other person is this in love with being in love person, you need to communicate your feelings about it to slow down or, you know, back off just a little bit. And if you're met with a lot of like aggression or hurt, then you know that this is a warning sign that the other person is upset at you, you know, because you're disappointing them. They want to move at this rapid fire speed that you're not ready for, for whatever reason, you know, again, you may not know them well enough and you need to like, you know, you need that time to really get to know them. And there's, you know, the trust issues and the barriers of the walls will come down with time. So you need to be on the same page with them or else, you know, things all of a sudden get crazy. They start to either manipulate you. Maybe they're always doing things for you, buying things for you. And, oh, you know, I just love to give, I just love to give. And then when you're not giving them what they want, then all of a sudden they hold it over you. Look what I did for you. Look what I bought for you. Look at how I treat you. How could you do this to me? And it's like, when you love, you freely give without expectation. It doesn't mean that you should be uh, lazy, not trying to also reciprocate and give love back and show your um, appreciation and, you know, and all, and all the things that they do for you or give you. But sometimes it could be a bit much and it could be a bit much too soon. So that's the thing is I've seen that happen where you know, somebody's like a serial dater. They're always in love. They, you know, they fall in love way too fast. And the thing is, those early dating stages, I always talk about this, is a lot of times men will make the mistake of trying to make them, show them why they're of such value. Here's why you should love me. Here's what I drive. Here's what, you know, I can do for you. Here's the gifts I can buy for you. You know, all these things. And, you know, and really that's rooted in insecurity is they don't feel that if they're just themselves, it's enough. So they have to, you know, ooh and eye you constantly to get you to like them, to continue to like them. So it's a slippery slope. When, when you're dating, everybody's a little bit different. You know, everybody has a different love language and you need to just take your time with it, really get to know them trying not or trying to assess if you're losing yourself in this relationship if you're becoming a completely different person um you know if you're finding that the things you enjoy doing and the essence of who you are who you've built you know your a lifetime becoming is now being you know changed and compromised in an effort to keep somebody else around. And that's never a good thing. It's not gonna end well, because eventually those feelings of that honeymoon period, you know, that period of like everything is amazing and blissful and all of that, it's gonna wear off eventually because we're all humans. We all have, mis we, all, we all make mistakes. Um, we all have our flaws or our little ticks and quirks that make somebody, you know, unnerved or just like, it's a pet peeve. Like, why do you do this? Why do you, you know, those things are just natural in any relationship. So just be careful with that because that can happen. And if you're that person or if it's the other person you're dating that has that mentality of, here's my life, here's how I see you fitting into it. And that's the way it's gonna be. Then you know it's not you, the person that they're actually in love with. You know, it's the idea of having um, almost like an actor in a film, right? They, they uh, cast for talent for actors and they have an idea of the kind of person they wanna see on screen. So they immediately just say, okay, this is, you know, a semi-attractive or attractive person and this is the way they see you being. So an actor will play a part and in a, in a different, weird, twisted way, you're now playing a part in their life, right? You're an actor in their life. And so it sounds like they're minimizing you or minimalizing you to make you into what they want. And that's basically what they're doing. You know, they're making you fit into the role of what they see a boyfriend, a husband, or, you know, a wife, a girlfriend, whatever, 
being in their life. And if it leaves that little pit in your stomach where you go, something's not right here, you really gotta do some assessing to see if this is what you really want, if you're being true to yourself, because if you're not, eventually it will get old, it'll wear off, and your true colors will shine through uh, in different ways, whether it's by sabotaging the relationship, um, you know, becoming like almost like, a, um, like numb, you know, where you're just going through the motions and you're not truly happy inside, but you might try to convince yourself that you are happy. Well, it is somebody, it, you know, they seem to really care about me. I don't want to hurt them, but long-term it's going to do more damage. And at the end of the day, the person that's looking for love to be in love, they're in love with the idea of being in love. You know, they've got to fix some things in themselves, you know, address some of their demons or some of the things in their past or maybe abandonment issues or lonely, um, feeling lonely, issues of feeling lonely and, you know, get better for that so that they can be a whole person walking into the relationship. And, you know, I think I, I always say it's like two people that are, uh, are whole and are coming together and the other person is complementing their life, not completing their life. That's the big distinction here. So guys, give me your thoughts on that. Um, I feel like there's more content in this. So I may develop some more videos, make it a series perhaps, but you know, it's always interesting. I've been in those relationships and uh, usually they become a train wreck. You know, something really bad happens because it's not real. You know, it's not real. And it was something that they're trying overly uh, aggressively to manufacture to make it fit so that they feel that their life is complete and usually there's some skeletons in the closet um, of that person and the best thing you can do is you know communicate let your needs be known not give up so much of yourself of course you know relationships are a compromise where there's going to be some give and take and some um some moments where you know, some things or issues where they're, you're both going to settle a little bit, right? And make some agreements. And as long as you guys are okay with those agreements and you feel good about it, then you're moving forward. So guys, hopefully that helps. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you again soon.